slot into that forward position. She combines well with McDonald up top. Matthew Franz gets us going underway here at Audi Field between Washington and North Carolina. Spirit remaining home after playing Chicago last week, but that was at Segra Field. So on the grass this week and the wide pitch, I think is something this team feels very comfortable on, Lisa. Audi Field is an extremely wide pitch. It's really long as well. Washington Spirit hoping to use that to their advantage throughout this match, really utilize the space on the width of the field in their flanks, having their outside backs, Tegan McGrady and Anna Helferty, get up and down the flanks and put a lot of pressure on the Courage. Actually, Sanchez getting wide, playing the early ball, return too far for the run of Rodman here on the near side, will actually bounce out for a goal kick. That's that outer width flank space that Washington is going to try to use. And the Spirit typically known for their possession-based methodical build-up. Head coach Richie Berg, he likes to get 600 passes through his team. Tonight, we may see something a little bit different. North Carolina's box midfield makes it really hard for opponents to have a lot of possession. So for the Washington Spirit, they might try to play more direct, especially with really fast forwards up top in Ashley Hatch and Trinity Rodman. You mentioned that 600 touch plateau. Paul Raleigh said, if we can keep him to 400 or 450, we'll be very happy. A hard task for sure for Paul Riley and his North Carolina Courage team, especially going up a well, going up against a very well coached Washington Spirit squad. Tegan McGrady dropping it back for Staub under pressure. Hamilton and Mace getting a foot in. It'll be Hamilton battling for it. Knuckles towards the end line and out. Appeal for a corner kick will not be given. It will be a goal kick for Aubrey Bledsoe in Washington. Aubrey Bledsoe once again playing with a broken thumb tonight in goal. Aubrey Bledsoe two games ago when the Spirit faced off against Kansas City. She broke her thumb during warmups. Head coach Richie Burke told us that Team Doc told Bledsoe that she needs to go see a doctor and <laughs> Burke laughed and said, yeah, I'm not telling her that. Have fun telling Bledsoe that she can't play, Doc. And well, clearly she's pushing through the pain yet again tonight. And she's only allowed two goals in those two matches, and one was an own goal. Very impressive. It shows the dedication and the commitment and true uh, ability to compete. O'Sullivan under pressure will drop it back. Comes all the way to Casey Murphy. You know, lots of trades around the league that got headlines in the offseason. I think the one to acquire Casey Murphy, though, has been a really big one for North Carolina to get some stability in goal. A huge asset for North Carolina Courage is having Casey Murphy in goal. Bailey working it left. Chance to cross. Now Houston will check back for it. Comes off of Houston. Chance inside. Great save for Murphy right on cue. Rebound blocked as well as Sullivan was there at the top of the 18. And a whistle here. And they're immediately going to wave on the trainer here. Two great chances for Washington early, Lisa. That's exactly it for Washington. This is so impressive. Trinity Rodman gets her head up, splitting the defenders and just trying to poke it through is Dorian Bailey. It does get bounced out to the top of the 18. Andy Sullivan waiting there for it. Incredible job by the North Carolina Courage just to create a wall as it bounces off a few players. Casey Murphy diving, not having to make a save though. Tori Houston was the player that was injured. She got hit hard twice in that attack. Once on the ankle on the initial chance, and then the hard shot from, from uh, Sullivan hit her as well. And she's, you can see she's kind of clutching her chest there in some discomfort. By the way, had that gone in, that would have been Tori Houston's first goal since July 2nd, 2016. Wow, Tori Houston, a player not known for her goal scoring abilities. However, she has been a dynamite defender for the Washington Spirit tonight, sliding into that midfield unit, contributing to the attack. How about the job Dorian Bailey did to start that attack and then nearly finish it in the box? Houston now turns it over. Tangle there. Matthew France does not blow the whistle. It'll be Rodman. So we've seen Robin mostly on this right side with the exception of the last attack where she went to the left and made something happen. Trinity Rodman will favor this near right flank. Her right foot is so dominant, but she has the ability to cut inside and use her left. And head coach for the Spirit, Richie Burke, gives his front three and his front line freedom to interchange and rotate around. It makes it really difficult for teams to defend them. Abby Ursay dropping it back to Murphy. 50-50 ball in the air, won by Bailey for Washington. 
hatch owner horse will try and track it on the sideline, can't quite get to it. It'll be a throw for Pickett instead. Quick restart from North Carolina broken up. The whistle here behind the play. Yeah, free kick for the Spirit. Washington, by the way, one and 10 in this series, but the last time they won was the last time these two played at home all the way back at the end of 2019 at the Maryland Soccer Plex. So you go back to what Richie Burke was saying, maybe we need to change our style. Well, that, <laughs> when, you, when you've lost 10 out of 11, that kind of suggests you maybe need to try something a bit different. And additionally, the North Carolina Courage, they're a, a team known for this box midfield that they have. They've practiced it. They know it very well. They're disciplined. And after these four straight wins, Courage finally settling into a rhythm, which gives them so much confidence. Nice ball from Staub to pick out Rodman. Hatch making the run centrally. Huster at the top of the 18 as well. Rodman into the box. Tried to find Sanchez there, but is broken up and now finally cleared by the right foot of Havana Salon. So something that can maybe break down that box is what we saw right there, right? A long ball get Rodman involved. That's exactly it. It's going to be really difficult for the Washington Spirit to possess through that box midfield of North Carolina. Instead, playing long balls over the top into the flanks for their forwards to run onto. Early ball for Mace towards McDonald. She's open in the box. First touch lets her down a bit. Doubling back, looking for help. Cross is blocked by Nielsen. Pickett's cross towards the far post. Headed out. Washington's McGrady with the header there out for a throw in. but. Golden opportunity there for Jess McDonald. Huge opportunity for McDonald on that back shoulder of the Spirit defense. Her first touch, not clinical enough. If she were to control her touch better, keep her angle directed towards the goal, she would have been able to get a shot and a goal opportunity for the Courage. McDonald will take this long throw. Urseg flicks it on. What's so off her line? to be at Hamilton to that ball. Tori Huster. Bailey looking for Hatch. Kirks will clear. Grady looking for Huster, battling her fellow number 23, Kristen Hamilton. Comes centrally for James. Switch for Pickett. Salon's touch heavy. It's Andy Sullivan back into play, and she draws the foul. Salon helping Sullivan up after that foul. That'll be a good battle to match with Salon and Sullivan in the midfield unit. Similarly styled players where they have the ball at their feet, they can weave in around players and play long, good direct passes that split opponents. They know each other well. They were teammates in 2018 in Washington. And probably in that same kind of battle, Salon playing more of that attacking midfield slot and, and, and Sullivan sitting in front of the back four. Sullivan now on the right side. Nielsen now, space for Tori Huster. Cross is blocked by Matthias. As we mentioned, making her 150th appearance. Christine Nair and Warren Barnes, McCall Zerboni, Merritt Matthias, that's the list. Only four players to reach 150 in NWSL. Impressive career, especially from Merritt Matthias, and she's proven herself as such a versatile player, not only in at the North Carolina Courage, but throughout the league, she's such so dangerous. Opponents know to keep their eye out for Matthias. Pick it now. Inside for Salon. Good vision to switch it right, but just a little too much on it. Thought to pick out Matthias. And you saw Rodman there tracking the run. For North Carolina, they're going to look to have that big switch of the field whenever they can. The box in the midfield for the Courage makes the field really narrow. So if the Courage can bring it to one side and then quickly find a long diagonal ball, it'll help expose Washington's defensive shape. Ball out to the left side, just out of the reach. Ten.
10 minutes in here at Audi Field, Washington and North Carolina. And Donald comes all the way back to win that one. Early ball left for Carson Pickett. Into space now. Mace, dispossessed. Alfredi getting some help from her center back, Nielsen. Hatch with some really good work there. The whistle behind the play, and you hear the no from the Washington bench. They knew they had something on there. Michael, we mentioned the switch of the forwards for the Washington Spirit. Ashley Hatch just moments ago on the far side, this time all the way on the near right side of the field, fighting for the ball against O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan just taking out Hatch's legs at the end there. Ashley Hatch, who's talked about Salon. Hatch made the trip in the other direction. Started with North Carolina and then has been in Washington for the last few years, part of the trade that sent Crystal Dunn to the Courage. James, cut out by Staub. And O'Sullivan draws the foul. Roll it, Roll and Salon, once again, <laughs> those two battling. McGrady for Hatch. Dorian Bailey. Early cross towards Hatch. Has a chance inside, and look what I found. Ashley Hatch gives Washington the lead. Right place at the right time. Incredible build up from the Washington spirit. They win the ball back from the courage. And it starts on the far side of the field with a beautiful ball in from McGrady. Flicks on and Ashley Hatch just waiting. No defenders around her just at the top of the six yard box. She's composed as it bounces towards her. Just a little redirect of the ball and it finds the back of the net. Yeah, both center backs went for Sanchez there and Hatch was wide open. Tucked it in first time with her left foot. Great vision by Hatch to see Sanchez making that near post run and for Hatch to just hold her run a little bit and stay in that gap left behind by Sanchez. Hatch's fourth goal of the season comes against her former club. Make that now 22 goals in the regular season in her career for Ashley Hatch. Bailey, who's been active early, has the ball tackled away by James. Washington Spirit snapping North Carolina's clean sheet streak at three. A great job by the Spirit. A lot of teams can come into a game against the North Carolina Courage and feel intimidated by their prowess on the attack. And now after their defensive run over the last few matches, their defensive shape as well, but not Richie Burke and his Washington Spirit squad. They came in ready to attack on the front foot throughout this first 14 minutes or so of this first half. Mace beaten to that ball by blood. So officially the shutoff streak was 286 minutes from North Carolina, snapped by the goal from Hatch. Washington scoring first for the fifth time this season. They've got one win and three draws in those five games. By the way, their first goal of the season, the first 15 minutes of a game. By the way, they've not led at the half yet this year, and yet they're in playoff position as of right now. Uh, that's the beauty of this NWSL league, the three points that come with a win, and the fact that these standings are constantly changing. Sanchez for Andy Sullivan. First time crossing, gets through everybody. Bailey will try and recover in the corner. She'll do so. Nice ball inside for Sanchez. Turns beautifully, tries the chip shot. This is wide. 
Good idea there from Ashley Sanchez. Ashley Sanchez playing that withdrawn nine position right now, and that's giving her the ability to sit in front of North Carolina's back line and receive the ball at her feet and turn and face forward. When she, Ashley Sanchez turns with the ball at her feet and can run at defenders 1v1, one on, one one, she is so much more dangerous. Big difference between the Washington we saw last week. Just one shot on goal against Chicago all night. Already have two and a goal against the first place team in the league. O'Sullivan, his possession to Hatch. Helferty. Richie Burke wanted that ball to go to Tegan McGrady. Instead, it'll go to Sam Stalvin. Now it'll go to Tegan McGrady. We can hear Richie Burke from our broadcast booth telling Anna Helferty right there with the ball to get wider and higher. He means get her heels to the sidelines as that ball switches around the back line for the Spirit. The outside backs need to create space and an angle for their center backs so they can find the ball. Helferty drawing the foul there. I imagine there's some value in having a right back that hasn't played a lot, hasn't started all year, right in front of you for the first half so you can kind of give a little bit more instruction. There's a huge benefit for Anna Helferty being on the coach's sideline during this first half, getting direction, and also being able to learn not only from the players on the field around her, but the players on the bench. They can also talk to her, not just Ricky, Richie Burke. Short for Huster. Helferty going direct. Hatch. Taken away by O'Sullivan. A great find by Anna Helferty, splitting the North Carolina Courage defenders and finding Hatch on that drop back. Drop back. Hatch posting up against Pickett. Good control from Helferty. Somehow that stayed in for a minute for Trinity Rodman. Lots of backspin on that ball, so as it hit the turf, it stayed in play, bouncing back towards the center of the pitch. A little head, a little high and heavy for Robin, goes up for a North Carolina throw. So, Ashley Hatch is going the 12th minute. The difference in this one, Washington on the front foot right now against North Carolina with 57% of the possession early. Ursaig. Last game for her before she heads to the Olympics with New Zealand. Great pressure from Tori Huster and the Washington Spirit. Trinity Rodman there staying high, making the space really small for the courage. Couldn't find Sanchez there. Right off for a throw in. Tori Huster. Creeping up on 13,000 minutes for her career in all competitions, all with the spirit. Made the team of the month in June. And someone that, as Rishi Burke mentioned, is so versatile, can play that outside back position, can play midfield for you, can play center back as she did in the early days with the spirit. Her defensive mindset lends her to be such an asset in the midfield. Her first reaction is to win the ball back, crash on her opponent, whoever has the ball at their feet, and just defend like crazy to get it back. Good battle here in the middle of the park between McDonald and McGrady. Won by McDonald, who drops it back for Ursaf. We saw from Washington Spirit just a few minutes ago, such a high press trying to lock North Carolina in this near corner. Now the Spirit dropping back, giving the courage some space to play with it. Matthias crossing it in, looking for McDonald. First ball cleared away. Second ball fought 4-1 by Washington. 
with Sullivan, excuse me, Sullivan trying to dance out of trouble. One by Salon. Cut back from Matthias, ball in towards Hamilton. Created out by Sullivan for a corner kick. Sullivan wearing the DC flag armband. Captaining the spirit tonight. A well-deserved captain role for Andy Sullivan. She really is the conductor in the midfield for the spirit. She mostly plays that six role, holding back and keeping defensive shape for the squad, but such a vocal leader on the field, keeping everyone organized. Carson Pickett's corner. Towards the middle, punched out by Bledsoe, cleared by Houston. Good corners as well to pick out Sanchez, who has space on the left side. Sanchez head up, looking for options. Sanchez will just take it herself and force Murphy to make the save to her right. Tori Huster finding herself on the edge of the box, making that full field sprint. She's the one that cleared it out to Sanchez. And then ending in a goal save, Sanchez just hungry to get a goal. You saw her eyes get big as she saw the space in front of her laid out. North Carolina gave her. Maybe a little frustrating for Tori Houston to make that long run and <laughs> get nothing for it. Chance for Washington. Hatch will hold it up. Sanchez back for Hatch. Couldn't find Sanchez there, and it'll be Merritt Mathias on the ball now. Visit nwslshop.com to find your club's latest gear. Support your favorite NWSL club with the latest tees, sweatshirts, hats, novelties, and more. I know my credit card has taken a hit from nwslshop.com. Some great gear on there. Free kick after the foul for North Carolina. Nice move from Pickett to Shake Rodman. Work it up for McDonald. Low cross, easily picked out by Paige Nielsen for Washington. Huster. Working up well by Pickett, intended for Trinity Rodman. Trinity Rodman hiding behind the Courage defender there. Huster looking for a teammate to pass to, and Rodman not giving a good enough angle to receive the ball at her feet. Swish from Matthias. Looking for Mace. Broken up by Staub. Mace will get a second look at it. Play a good cross and driven all the way across the six. Nobody home in white and will go out for a throw in. Jess McDonald making the near post run. Audrey Bledsoe not even able to get to that cross coming in. Usually the sweet spot for Bledsoe. She's aggressive in her box. She's dominant. She controls it. Any shot, set piece, or corner kick that comes in. She's loud and aggressive, making it her ball. Not that time from Bledsoe. Four touch there from Sanchez, gives another throw in away. Of course, one of the targets for North Carolina normally would be Sam Mewis, who just won the ESPY for International Player of the Year, announced earlier today. A huge accomplishment and very, very well deserved by Sam Mewis. Spent time with Manchester City and now back with North Carolina and just a huge instrumental player on every team that she plays with and now with the U.S. Women's National Team hoping to make a huge impact in the Tokyo Olympics. Really nice job there from Staub to slide in and break up that attack as ball was coming through looking for Hamilton. James. Matthias tries to go low this time. Block, she'll get a second shot at it. Marked by Bailey as she cuts inside. Deflected. Bailey saves it on the end line. Gives it away off the deflection. Nice work from Matthias defensively on the offensive end to win that ball back. Salon. Trying to shake Hatch. Good ball for James. James for Hamilton. First time shot gets all the way through. I think James had an opportunity to shoot there and just was a little too hesitant. And then Hamilton received the ball. She looked like she was unexpectedly receiving it. She had time to take a touch and set up a better shot opportunity. Instead, she just slices it one time with her right foot. 
not going on frame and not a good chance, not a good clinical finish from North Carolina. Yeah, it wasn't really body position-wise kind of spread up to hit that one clean. Hey, let's go. Not often you see a goalkeeper taken back to the goalkeeper, but that's what Washington does there. Trying to get their 600 pass count. That counts as two right there. <laughs> North Carolina's getting a little bit more of a handle in this game in the last five or 10 minutes. They are trying to find their rhythm. Washington Spirit is doing a nice job of putting so much pressure on them defensively, which is making it difficult for North Carolina to find their passing rhythm and their movement off the ball. But over the last five, 10 minutes, it has become more smooth for the Courage. By the way, that pass counts at 122 right now. So <laughs> they're more of, a, of the pace that Paul Raleigh wants and not the pace that Richie Burke wanted. Mace now going wide of Aubrey Bledsoe's near post. Give a lot of credit to Sam Staub and Paige Nielsen, center backs for the spirit, handling Haley Mace and Jess McDonald very well right now. They're handing McDonald and Mace off as they make those runs in between the spirit's defensive lines. That's between outside back and center back. I thought it was interesting that Paul Riley said that he thinks Mace's skills are, are well suited to being a forward. Finish that thought after this. Rodman comes to Sanchez, trying to shake O'Sullivan. Good moves from Sanchez. Cross in, deflected, shot and a great save from Murphy. Diving full extension to her right, it's denied Dorian Bailey. Great save by Casey Murphy. That's why she has been so outstanding throughout this regular season for the Courage. Sanchez. Cutting back on her left, taking the shot and missing high and wide. Sanchez ending up on the ground at the end of that shot. But take a look back. Watch as Sanchez just dances around O'Sullivan. So smooth and clean. And then Dorian Bailey flicking this one, trying to curl it towards the back post. And it looked to me live like that ball was deflected a bit on the way in. So she had to kind of readjust her approach and still hit it hard and still hit it well. Sullivan fouled. Richie Burke in touch right now, <laughs> giving some instructions. But that's something that Paul Rowley talked about going back to the, the Murphy save is, last week she makes a big save to keep it 1-0 in favor of the Courage in, instead of 1-1. Now she makes a big save to keep it being 2-0 Washington. Helferty, broken up by James, early ball. Easily snuffed out by Urseg. Also goes against Tori Huster. And Matthew Franz will reach into the pocket and card Ashley Sanchez. 29th minute, the booking to Sanchez. Fiery midfield unit from Washington Spirit right now. Tori Huster not happy with the initial call. Neither was Sanchez giving her a piece of her mind to the center official. First pro yellow card for actually Sanchez. Flag is up on Jess McDonald. Jess McDonald just sitting on the back shoulder of Sam Staub, trying to sneak in behind on that through ball. And the spirit back line holding really tight to keep their line very straight. But so we'll go long. Trying to pick out Hatch. Run by Kurtz, given right back to Washington and McGrady. Nice combination there. McGrady against Salon on the left side. Going towards the end line. Trying to play it across, but didn't have the angle. Beautiful combination there to spring Tegan McGrady though on the left side, Lisa. Love to see that fancy footwork from Ashley Hatch. She's getting creative on the ball. She's been so confident with her skills. And then Tegan McGrady driving all the way into the attacking end, 
trying to outrun Salon, not able to do so on the cross. Ashley Sanchez coming in com had completed 78% of her passes. That's excellent for a forward. Half hour in, Washington leading when Ashley hatches goal in the 12th minute. That helps your confidence too when you hit the back of the net. And so early in a game, a team like North Carolina is usually very difficult to break down. It takes a lot of passing, a lot of movement of the ball from side to side. But for Ashley Hatch to get that goal in the 13th minute, very impressive by her and the Washington spirit. Rodman for Sanchez, gives it back to Trini Rodman. Touched on for Sanchez in the box. Takes the shot near post and another great save from Murphy. Ashley Sanchez didn't have a lot of the net to shoot at, but very nearly found it. Incredible job by Sanchez and Tori Huster on the right side of your screen, drawing a defender her way, but Ashley Hatch taking it herself, going for that upper 90 corner. Casey Murphy, cat-like reflexes to block that shot. combinations from the spirit have really created a lot of good chances it's good good individual work too but crosses have been excellent they've done a great job of executing the game plan, game plan that Richie Burke put in it's the dynamic movement from Sanchez Hatch and Rodman up top allowing midfielders like Sullivan and Houston to join in their attacking in as Sanchez drops back like we see now place the cross looking for Houston pushing forward as you said with the interchange Helferty Robin inside for Sullivan. Shakes James. Sanchez. Bailey. Marked by Matthias. Comes back for Tegan McGrady, who's cross set up the goal. Back for Bailey. Driven in towards Hatch, volleyed away. Kurtz was the player that had the clearance for North Carolina. Grady goes for Hatch. Bailey. Grady under pressure from McDonald, finds Bailey on the sideline. Tried to make a fancy pass there to Hatch and knocks it out for a throw. And actually, they're going to say it's North Carolina's ball off the deflection. The yeah, outfield faithful not agreeing with Matthew Franz on that. in North Carolina, making their checking runs, trying to get someone open so they can get the ball in. And Washington Spirit just playing a zonal defense, keeping the area really compact on the far sideline. Ursaig for O'Sullivan. Mace dispossessed by Houston. now space to run for the Spirit. Houston will work it for Robin on the right side. And just overcooked that one. Tori Houston almost with too much time and space. She's unsure of what to do with it. Ashley Hatch trying to make a diagonal run across the back line of the Courage and Rodman holding her run on this near flank to stay on sides. And just too much mustard on the pass for Rodman. Chip left. Kristen Hamilton. Bodied up by Nielsen. Gets help from Helferty. Sanchez. Tangled there and a whistle here will go against Ashley Sanchez. It's already on a yellow, so she can't say too much. But her body language says a million. Franz trying to explain himself. Now the captain, oh, so, uh, Captain Sullivan will come over and continue the chat. See as Sanchez makes the touch. Just a tackle that O'Sullivan flips over. Spirit Bench has gotten a yellow now for complaining. Maybe Sullivan tried to defuse the situation. 
<laughs> you can hear Richie Burke sarcastically congratulating the official on his job well done on that call. I mean, just a hard tackle between O'Sullivan. And Sanchez, yeah. yeah it's, it, Now you hear the North Carolina bench saying <laughs> he was about to Carter, then he realized who it was. Sanchez already on a yellow. And that pulls out for a goal kick. Never a dull moment between these two clubs, is there? <laughs> lots of history, lots of respect. There never is. Intentions are high at this point in the season, entering that middle third of the season, every win and every three points counts. I thought it was interesting, Richie Burke's comments about how he feels like at times North Carolina has tried to intimidate and bully the spirit, not just physically, but mentally, tactically. So I think there's a, there's a lot of that probably in this too, where Washington's trying to be more a little bit more physical to maybe make up for that. Not just the physical aspect, like you mentioned, the mental aspect to go against a Courage team that has a box midfield is highly intimidating to have four players in the middle of the field when most squads only have three. It's a mismatch automatically in the midfield, three for Washington and four for the Courage. But it's working in the Spirit's favor right now. Well, and those three, as you mentioned earlier, Lisa, been able to get forward a lot. They've been able to do that because forward Ashley Sanchez has dropped back into the midfield. It looks as if at first glance to really diffuse the mismatch in the midfield, three for Washington, four for the North Carolina Courage, but instead it's allowed Dorian Bailey and Tori Huster to move forward into the attack because the North Carolina Courage now needs to be aware of Sanchez dropping back to really throw off the midfield shape. Well, and the four players with the least touches for North Carolina, McDonald, Mace, Hamilton, Salon, they're attacking four. Just 51 combined touches through 37 minutes for those four players. Well, looking for Hatch, picked off by Urseg. Sullivan turning smartly, playing at square for James. Walsh International will go up the middle, looking for McDonald. We'll find her on the edge of the 18. McDonald with the hard cross towards the far post. Pop up header. Let's have let it go. Mace was the target on that one. Getting word now that both coaches were actually carted in that exchange after the collision between Sanchez. So two coaches that are not known for being quiet are going to have to be a little bit more quiet <laughs> for the next 52 minutes and change. Robin can't find a teammate. One instead in the back by Kaylee Kurtz. Left it comes for Pickett. James, building for O'Sullivan. Pick it. Trying to play into the channel, but Helford, he was well positioned and won it. Salon. Now James. McDonald. So on again. Can we mace? Tries to scoop it up for McDonald. Oh, never really got a read on that one, it looked like, and it goes out. Very lofted ball from Mace trying to find McDonald. Looks like a mispass from Mace as she tried to scoop the ball. Intended to be a chip with a little more oomph behind it. Just as much loft though. Instead, McDonald unable to read that pass. Sullivan dropping into 
Pope in the center of defense. Comes for Nielsen. Sanchez gets her head up, thought about the long ball. Good work there from Mace to force the spirit back. Tori Huster. Bailey, who switched sides after being on the left for most of this one. Nielsen. Sanchez going to the near side. Nielsen loses her footing, able to keep the ball. Bailey. Rodman. Beats up Sullivan. Fancy Plays a nice, a nice ball to find Hatch after the fancy nutmeg. Hatch looking for a second, not this time. Trinity Rodman being more composed, showing off her tactical skills she's been developing over the last several months with the Washington Spirit, trying to find Hatch there. And Hatch just eager to get a shot off quickly. Richie Burke talking about the comfort level for the Spirit here at Audi Field. You can see it with the tricks they're trying. McDonald dispossessed by a tackle from Helferty, but she'll get a throw deep. For the Spirit, it's not just the comfort of being on the field, but having their fans around them and knowing that they're playing at home. McDonald, nice ball in. Fighting for it is Hamilton, lays it off, shot saved. Another great save from Bledsoe as Urseg was in. That would have been quite the going off party for her if she had scored. North Carolina Courage getting into their mix attack. Ersig actually hitting the ground before Hamilton bounces it over to her and Aubrey Bledsoe making a great save, able to punch this ball over the crossbar. With a broken thumb, we will ride you. <laughs> that can't have felt good. Corner for North Carolina as they build here late in the first half, trying to find an equalizer. The serve from Pickett. End of the six, headed on, and just wide. As it comes off the post from Urseg. Pickett will save in the corner. Left-footed ball in, headed out by Staub, but only as far as O'Sullivan for Mace now. Chip in, headed out. McDonald with the volley. More of a pass than a shot, but Bledsoe will make the catch. Ersig's initial look on this corner, so close as she elevates herself, doesn't cleanly head the ball, but it does bounce off the corner. Looks like her shoulder actually gets yeah. the ball, not her head. Hard contact, but like you said, maybe not with the surface. And obviously a lot easier to direct it down with your head versus your shoulder. So she hits that a little bit more cleaner. It's 1-1, but Abby Ersig with the two best chances of the match for North Carolina in the last few minutes. McDonald had a good look early as well. Couldn't hit the target. Paul Rowley has to be way, happy with the way his team has finished this half. McDonald loose again on the left side. Slotting in is Nielsen. Out for another corner. Great recovery run from Paige Nielsen. Not in the best defensive shape initially as that long ball is played into McDonald. So Nielsen having to cover some ground. Just McDonald shaking up here after the battle with Paige Nielsen. Paige Nielsen, a defensive brick wall in the back line for the Washington Spirit. Her partnership with Sam Staub has been phenomenal throughout this regular season. Makes Aubrey Bledsoe's job a bit easier in goal to have Staub and Nielsen in front of her. Look at Paul Riley there already in the books tonight. Not often you see both coaches get yellow carded at the same time, but that's what happened to us here in the 35th minute. Corner from Pickett. Bledsoe in position to make the catch. Hamilton was the target. Not the traditional service we usually see from Carson Pickett. That ball high and lofted towards the back post. Usually her crosses are low and driven hard. 
Interesting, though, that she was targeting the same area of the field, though. From the right side, it was towards that near post. And from the far side, she was going towards that, that post to RB Bledsoe's left. So clearly, that's an area they think they can exploit, I would think. It definitely is, and it also depends on who's in the mix in that mid, in that center of the field. And Jess McDonald, a tall player, an aggressive player, good with her head, and also having Abby Ersic in there. We saw she didn't get it, the ball with her head cleanly, but she did get a piece of it. Stolen away by Andy Sullivan. Two on two with Hatch. Playing it through for Hatch. Beautiful ball. Hatch will finish her second in stoppage time. Two on two, and you could not execute it better than what the Washington Spirit did right there. After North Carolina was really starting to build something, Lisa. Washington Spirit closing out the half with a little bit of an insurance goal. It started in the defensive end. Andy Sullivan, the sixth midfielder, doing such a great job. 2v2 for the Spirit. Hatch creating space by starting her run and moving out towards the flank a little bit before cutting back in. It opened the lane between the two North Carolina defenders for Sanchez to play that little slip ball. Excuse me, Sullivan to play that slip ball. And Hatch a beautiful finish. And a great celebration from Richie Burke as well. Just what the Spirit needed after North Carolina really was starting to build something. Chances for Ursaig in particular. That's the final touch of this one. So Ashley Hatch. And Washington. And running away here in the second half at Audi Field. Washington leading two to nothing. Mentioned it before the break. First time the Spirit have led at the half this year, which is pretty amazing, considering they have three wins and three draws on the year. They've just lost twice. Dominic and Lisa Roman here with you. Glad you're spending part of your Saturday with us wherever you are. Glad to be with you. See the substitution there, Ricaro for James. Ship gets through there. Appeal for offside not given out finally is. Don't think that Kristen Hamilton expected it to get that ball and didn't check back. But that's what I want to see more of from Hamilton, joining into the attack, making those runs outside of Andy Sullivan's grasp and defensive unit through Staub and Nielsen in the back line for the Spirit, joining in with McDonald and Mace to be more creative and dynamic in that attacking end. And I imagine that's why you bring Ricaro on, right? Someone that's a center back, can play that D mid position, a little bit more of a defensive-minded player than James is. That's it, by bringing Rocaro on into that box midfield, it allows Deniso Sullivan a little bit more freedom to move forward into the attack. Who oh, Sullivan, when she is on the ball, she does such a nice job. Good look at Kerry Rocaro there. Eighth appearance of the year, seventh as a substitute for the East Islip New York native. Matthias now in her 150th game. Close one there for Trinity Rodman. Sniffing out that ball, she wanted that interception. Would not want to have Trinity Rodman running down on me like that. If I was a center back or anybody. Sullivan, who had the beautiful assist to Hatch, finding Bailey. Now, I think Dorian Bailey has had a really nice first half as well for Washington. Dorian Bailey has done a nice job in the midfield for the Washington Spirit. She's allowing Andy Sullivan to sit back and play more of that six unit while Houston and Bailey can push forward into the attack. But the beauty of that triangle in the midfield is that Bailey can slide back into that six position. We saw Andy Sullivan making that huge run to assist Hatch on that second goal. And that's why the three in the middle for the Spirit are so good. They work so well together, rotating and shifting around that triangle. Staub going early. Touch for Rodman towards the sideline. Looking for some assistance as Matthias will defend her. Trinity Rodman now into the middle. Nice ball for Sanchez. Sanchez looking to find Hatch, but cleared away. O'Sullivan, excuse me, Sullivan, I keep doing that. Having a Sullivan and O'Sullivan in the same midfield. <laughs> Cross in towards the middle, headed out by Kurtz, only as far as Houston, her volley, saved by Murphy. 
Huster with the late run out of the midfield, applying pressure in the attack. Caught a game once where it was the Washington Patriots against the George Washington Patriots, and that was very confusing. <laughs> Hurts. Matthias. Crossing towards the top of the 18, towards McDonald, headed on. Nice ball intended for Mace. And Bledsoe diving to save that one. Kind of figure she's protecting her thumb in that moment, right? Kind of the way that she's, she picked that up. Uh, if I know Aubrey Bledsoe, she's just looking to grab the ball and jump onto it. She did a nice job there. McDonald with a beautiful header, trying to find her partner in crime up top, Haley Mace. And Mace just a step behind as Bledsoe able to come out and grab that ball. Really the first time we see North Carolina use Jess McDonald as a target, which is something she does so well. Helferty. Is it off of picking in the end? Helferty making her first start of the year. I think she's done a nice job of that outside back position so far. She has a natural forward is Helferty, so having her in that outside back position for the spirit gives her the freedom and the ability to move forward up that flank, send crosses into the box. But honestly, her defensive abilities have been very impressive throughout this first half and the start of the second half for the spirit. Did make a start in the Challenge Cup this year, but her first regular season start. She's only played 207 minutes. So I guess there's kind of a flip side to that where you're fresh, but also you haven't gotten a lot of match time. Hatch on two goals. We'll drop it back. McGrady. Dory Bailey. Nielsen, good pressure there from Haley May. She'll win the ball. Pick it. Ricaro. Back for Carson Pickett. Picked up by Helferty. Pickett gets a step, plays it in, headed by Nielsen. Second ball fought for. Nice back heel, headed on by McDonald. Something special there from North Carolina, not ending up in a shot, but a good chance. Matthias. Through from Salon, blocked. And now the counter. Rodman against O'Sullivan. Cutting back, taking the shot, it's blocked. O'Sullivan will play it on the floor. Kelly Kurtz playing great defense against a really quick Trinity Rodman, keeping Rodman in front of Kurtz and just keeping her feet moving. Hamilton for Mace and she's offside. Just McDonald frustrated visibly with that call. I thought McDonald was off, but I thought Mace held her run pretty well. We'll have to trust the AR on the far side though. McDonald and Mace just towing that defensive line for the Washington Spirit, looking for those through balls. We saw it the last time North Carolina down the field. McDonald raising her arm. She wants that ball played quicker. That way McDonald can run onto it. And the same goes for that last play with Mace being called offside. I mean, Donald had a chance in the first half, but I think this has certainly been the best five or six minutes we've seen from her. She's been much more active in the second half than she was in the first. For McDonald, her activity comes when she looks to receive the ball in many different facets on the field, whether it's flicking it on with her head, checking back in front of the defensive line to receive it at her feet, or just flicking it off to the sides with a player running off of her. McGrady. Corey Huster. Helferty with space. Can't be flicked on this time by Rodman. O'Sullivan now for North Carolina. Now Kurtz, continuing it on to the right side. Merritt Mathias. Salon, broken up by McGrady. Sanchez, 
Dribbles beautifully out of tight space. No foul there, says Matthew Franz. We'll continue. One back by Huster for Washington. Sullivan trying to pick out Sanchez. Well, one by Ricaro in the middle, and that's what she's here for. O'Sullivan. Jess McDonald. Behind Mace. Bowie will pick up the second ball for Washington. Great defense by Nielsen there. That ball from McDonald played into Mace on Mace's back foot. So Nielsen tight on Mace, able to get her foot in there and poke that one free. Ashley Hatch has both goals if you're just joining us. 12th minute, unassisted officially right now. And then 45 plus one from Andy Sullivan on a great two on two break. Early ball from McGrady towards Rodman over her head this time. It's Ursaig had her step for step. Something Richie Burke talked about with us is making sure these younger players don't burn out. You can see Rodman being a little bit heavy legged here in the 55th minute. Cross in towards McDonald, won easily by Bledsoe. A dangerous look from the North Carolina Courage, nothing able to come of it. But McDonald making that run towards the far post. No one in blue around to mark from her. Aubrey Bledsoe, though, easy to grab that cross coming in. North Carolina had won each of its last three matches by two nothing scores. It's been flipped on it against them this time. After allowing just four goals this year, second in the league, they've allowed two in just a half to this player, Ashley Hatch. Nice touch from Rodman on the right side. Playing it across looking for Sanchez, but that was always going to be in Murphy's gloves. Casey Murphy has had an excellent match despite the score line in goal for North Carolina. Matthias. Laid off by Salon, continued on by Ricaro left. Carson Pickett. Against Helferty. Pickett gets the cross off, and Bledsoe will make the catch. Making very sure to keep her feet behind the line, but the ball in front of it. Pickett's been more active in this half as well. Throughout the first half, North Carolina outside backs, Carson Pickett and Merritt Mathias, they didn't utilize the space in the flanks very much due to the fact that Washington was putting such a high press on the courage. Throughout this second half so far, we've seen Mathias and Pickett joining into the attack, getting crosses off. That's going to be very, very crucial for North Carolina's attack. I like what Mathias did on that last attack as well, where she cut inside. She didn't do the normal thing and just go up the flank. She went more towards the middle of the park and kept Washington honest. Well, that's the thing about North Carolina outside backs, Mathias and Pickett specifically. They're 80% attacking, 20% defending abilities, and that's what Paul Riley looks for in his outside wing backs. Said he couldn't replace what Jalen Hinkle was able to do, but he was over the moon with how Carson Pickett's done. She has done tremendous and takes all the corner kicks for North Carolina, and she does a tremendous job at it. The Sullivan dropping it. North Carolina trying to pass this ball around and find something open up. Found Pickett on the left side. Plays it in. McDonald with the touch. Volley there goes wide from Haley Mace. Did well to improvise there, but that would have been tough to get by Aubrey Bledsoe from that angle. Haley Mace making her second start of the year. No Lynn Williams to put in that spot. So that's going to be, I think, one of the challenges for Paul Riley is finding a partner for Lynn Williams during this Olympics break. And so great to see Lynn Williams now full part of the roster for the Olympics now that they've allowed the alternates to play. A huge accomplishment for Lynn Williams. And yeah, for Paul Riley, finding a partner to really match McDonald and play off of McDonald is difficult to do. But 
North Carolina Courage has such a deep bench with Haley Mays getting the start tonight to complement McDonald. We haven't seen too much of a partnership sparks flying between McDonald and Mace, but it's still early for Mace. She'll find her rhythm throughout the next four or five weeks for the Courage. Murphy getting that away. McDonald. Hamilton. For Mace now on the right side with space. Nielsen defending. Mace playing it across and headed over by McDonald. And Salon was there as well at the far post. One of the best opportunities we've seen from the North Carolina Courage. And this started when Jess McDonald dropped all the way in the midfield to receive this ball. And Mace making the diagonal run in behind, running onto the through ball. And Jess McDonald trying to get the header there. And you're right, Michael. Salon just behind McDonald. Salon, use your voice. Call McDonald off of that cross. You have a better angle. Well, and she could have headed that or settled it. She had a lot of space. Rare to say in the last month, North Carolina has not been sharp in front of goal. That was one of the quicker attacks we've seen from North Carolina, not using their possession to switch the ball and find that perfect pass. Instead, just getting in behind Washington Spirit and then sending it across in. That's going to be their best bet with the Spirit putting such high pressure and making it really difficult for North Carolina to play around with it. Hamilton, Mace for McDonald. Aubrey Bledsoe says, let it go. I got it. It'll be a goal kick. That's the ball for North Carolina, though. Get the ball into the middle of the field and have McDonald and Mace make horizontal runs along the back line of Washington Spirit. Once the ball goes through one of the lanes, whether it's an outside back center back or center back center back lane, the forward McDonald in that case can make the run onto the ball. The pass just needs to be weighted better. Rodman, knocked out by Urseg. Two goals for Ashley Hatch. The difference in this one is Washington leads North Carolina. Spirit have only beaten the Courage once ever in 11 meetings before today. And they've never shut them out. Washington, and we may splitting her case. Ashley Sanchez, the only player on a yellow right now. It's the only player because both coaches have a yellow. Paul Riley, Richie Burke. for Mason Nielsen, Helferty. Nice job there by Robin to walk the tightrope, keep possession, drop it for Bailey. sitting back, waiting for their moment to pounce on it and trap to one side of the field. Sanchez with a really nice ball to break pressure. Bailey for Rodman in a foot race with Pickett. Pickett knocks it out for a throw in. Taken quickly by Rodman for Dorian Bailey. Sullivan. Helferty. 
Little skill there from Rodman, but broken up on the other end by Urseg. Space off the North Carolina counter as Sullivan has to wait for that ball and drop it back. Second nutmeg we saw from Trinity Rodman during this game. I saw that uh, they're now, there's now a leaderboard in MLS for nutmegs. We need a, an N NWSL nutmeg leaderboard. Change here. Courage will make their second change as you hear Emma Poon announce over the PA at Audi Field. Meredith Speck on. Be a double change actually. Salon off for Speck. Instructions right away for Jess McDonald for Meredith Speck. And the second change, we'll see Brittany Ratcliffe playing just up the road from her alma mater, University of Virginia. Sure, plays Haley Mace. So that's a straight swap up top for sure. And he, she also has instructions for Jess McDonald. I imagine part of those instructions are encouragement for Jess McDonald on her runs that she's been doing throughout this second half. She's looking better in this second than she did in the first 45 minutes. Fourth appearance of the year for Speck. Sixth appearance of the year for Ratcliffe. Washington looking to build again. Hatch. Immediately putting Speck to work. Shot blocked. Up for a throw in. So three changes made now by North Carolina in two windows, one at the half and one just now. Washington State with the 11 that's brought them here. And why not? They've done well. 2 nothing lead courtesy of Ashley Hatch. O'Sullivan. Brooks will knock it forward, gives it right away. Ball for Sanchez. Sanchez's shot. And that might have hit the bar, might have hit Murphy as well. They're going to say it was clean off the bar, a goal kick. Great look from Ashley Sanchez as that ball lands at her feet. She just dances on top of it. We'll take a look, Michael. She gets a little touch and effortless. She flicks this one towards the goal. Murphy not getting a piece of it. It does bounce cleanly off the crossbar. North Carolina cannot be pleased with the amount of times Ashley Sanchez has been able to face goal from 25 and in. Well, a lot of that is due to the fact that Sanchez isn't playing a traditional nine. She's really withdrawn, dropping off. That way, every time she does receive the ball, she is facing forward. Head coach for the Spirit, Richie Burke, said Sanchez is so much more dangerous when she's already facing her goal and running at defenders rather than receiving the ball with her back to the net and having to turn. Sanchez has been in 10 duels already, and that's a place you want her to be, because if she can go one-on-one -on -one against somebody, you like her chances. O'Sullivan. Matthias beaten to it by Trinity Rodman doing the good defensive work. And that will be her final contribution to this one. We'll see the rookie out of USC, Tara McCohen, replacing the rookie, Trinity Rodman. Great match from Trinity Rodman. She really occupied a lot of the North Carolina defenders. Did a nice job throughout this match. Not a part of either of the goal for the Spirit, but a player like Trinity Rodman, she's someone that Richie Burke is looking at load management, making sure she's not getting too tired of legs. A lot of season left to play. Ricaro. Tried to find Speck. Cleared high into the night sky by Washington. Organize midfield. Kurtz playing the right center back spot today. We special probably moving to Ursic spot on the left going forward with Ursic heading to Tokyo. Happy Ursic could have easily scored for North Carolina tonight. Had two really good chances late in the first half before Hatch doubled the lead. Pick it now. Cross gets through everybody in white. And let go for a Washington goal kick. Brittany Radcliffe, one of the players for Paul Riley that just stepped onto the field along with Meredith Speck, adding some fresh legs in the attack to complement Jess McDonald up top. Try to find some creativity between 
the front few players, whether that's Speck, Hamilton, and McDonald, Radcliffe, Speck, and McDonald, to see what interchange those players can make to try to get in and behind the Spirits' back line. Aubrey Bledsoe's in no hurry with a two-goal lead. Feels both ways to the throw. It'll go Washington's way right in front of Paul Riley. spot of this throw in. Spirit Squadron enjoying this one. The team leading 2 nothing. Ashley Hatch has them both. Pick it. Looking for Speck. Down by Helferty. What's a little queer danger left footed out for a throw in. Throughout this second half, Washington Spirit entered and started this half with two goals. And now we haven't seen a lot of offensive force from them for the Spirit right now. They're just trying to keep possession of the ball, force North Carolina to run and just keep possession. This is where they're going to rack up those 600 passes that Richie Burke wants to have. Four shots, one on target for the Spirit in this half. But they've held North Carolina to two shots, neither one of them forcing a save out of Aubrey Bledsoe. Cross towards McDonald, volleyed away. O'Sullivan looking for Huster. Battle. Play it left. McCow. Sanchez. Sanchez staying on the ball somehow. Trying the shot and just missing over. Richie Burke knew what a great bit of play that was from Ashley Sanchez. Dancing on the ball is exactly what Sanchez was doing here. She dodges one, two, three, four North Carolina defenders, creates some space for herself on the half turn, and trying to chip it towards the corner again. Casey Murphy had that one covered, though, if the ball dipped down. Being the camera operator assigned to Richie Burke is a fun job, I would think. You're going to get a lot of nice reaction shots like that. Very animated coach on the sideline, for sure, is Richie Bur Burke. He's only beaten Paul Riley once. That was the last time these two teams met in the D.C. area back in 2019 at the end of the season at the Maryland Soccer Plex. Where other game's been in North Carolina or in Utah. Through ball now. Chance for Ratcliffe, playing it across. Stab gets the first touch, it's cleared. Matthias will try again. Cross is blocked by McCown, who's done a nice job defensively since coming on for Robin up front. Brittany Ratcliffe with a great diagonal run across the top line for North Carolina. She's able to get that slip ball through but her angle is so closed down by the great defensive efforts by Washington Spirit. She has to make a cross and no one there, no teammates for the courage there to pick up that cross as it came in. Corner from Pickett, driven towards the far post, headed out by Washington's Nielsen. Meredith Speck now for the courage. McCown blocks it. Both ways, it will be a corner. Aubrey Bledsoe appealing <laughs> to the AR on the far side. No dice. Another opportunity for Carson Pickett and the courage on this set piece opportunity. They are dangerous, North Carolina, when they get these chances. Can they capitalize on these opportunities? High ball this time towards Urseg. I think she got it with the shoulder again that time. Volleyed in by Hamilton. 
Ursay tried to get the last touch, and it will be a goal kick this time. So Abby Ursay has had two good chances. Both of them look like they've hit her shoulder. It's almost as if she's jumping too high, getting too much air as these crosses come in, but she's still able to get a piece of it on it. Not as cleanly hit as it would be with her head. She's able to direct it more when she can use her forehead, keep the ball down and low, making it more difficult for Bledsoe. Last chance for Abby Ursig to make an impact for the Courage before the Olympics. She'll join New Zealand. Last group of internationals leave NWSL for the Tokyo Games. Kurtz dropping it back for Casey Murphy. Sanchez. McCown. Trying to slide it in. Whistle here will go against McCown. First real look at McCown for this Spirit team. She came on, subbing on, and trying to make her impact known up top. She plays behind Rodman, which is a tall tale, but we mentioned earlier Rodman on a bit of a load management to try to get her fitness levels up for the rest of the season. It's a nice luxury to have. You have a 19-year-old and a 22-year-old in one of your forward positions. Foul on O'Sullivan, free kick for Washington. Spirit haven't had a hat trick in six years, and it was one of the best I've ever seen. Crystal Dunn in a half <laughs> against the Houston Dash. McCown, good save again for Murphy. That was one of the situations where McCown or Sullivan could have taken that one. It was the rookie, hit it well. Murphy has been excellent today. Very selfless move by Andy Sullivan as she runs onto this. A great pickoff here by Sanchez. And she has McCown and Sullivan running to her left. Sullivan initially looking to run after it, and then she saw McCown out the corner of her, of her eye. McCown not striking it cleanly enough and a good save there by Murphy. Stanford to USC, dummied by UCLA. Actually, I'm sorry, UCLA with the pass. USC with the shot as the yellow is shown to Houston, dummied by the player from Stanford. I, fa I failed Pac-12 geography, as you can tell. Tori Huster, the second spirit player to go in the book, joining Sanchez. An opportunity for Pickett to line up over the ball in the attacking end for the Courage. for Ursay to get forward once more. She's been close today. Shot from Ricardo blocked. The whistle there. Merritt Mathias, the offending party there. She's shown a yellow, first card shown to a Courage player. Their bench has been booked as well in this one. And two more changes coming here. Riley Baisden for Kristen Hamilton. Skyward Debris for Carson Pickett. Baisden the Ford out of Pepperdine. Fresh legs for the Courage as they try to get on the scoreboard against the Spirit. 
Carson Pickett doing a nice job coming out of the back in the second half to get crosses in to the box for the Courage. And now having other players in there for her, it'll be Debris in the back line trying to build in the attack on the flank for the Courage. Regular season debut for her. She started four matches in the 2021 Challenge Cup. Hatch. Third forward, McCown will do the running. Whistle there. Time to move from North Carolina. Down two, they'll work it up the left side. Stumble there, gets possession away to Hatch though. Bailey. Andy Sullivan, who assisted on the second goal to Ashley Hatch. Bailey. Pretty winning a throw in on the far side here in the 80th minute. Good performance out of the Falls Church, Virginia native just across the river. Taking a look at the subs Paul Riley has made, trying to get some other players minutes in this match, seeing what they can contribute and how creative they can be for the courage, especially with some of the other players on the field. I'm taking a look at. Chance now for the Spirit off the turnover. Murphy doing well to knock it off of McCown. It will be a goal kick in the end. Good run down there by Jess McDonald. For North Carolina, another good look here as they pick off this pass. Really nice job. McDonald trying to just run onto it. Bledsoe being aggressive off her line to clear that ball out of danger. By the way, first time that Carson Pickett has left the field this year. So you have to wonder if maybe this is about load management, as you said, to keep some legs fresher for the stretcher. And she's a player they're going to need with this younger lineup, this less experienced lineup for Paul Riley. Change on the way for Washington. Kumi Yokoyama. They will replace Paige Nielsen. That's an interesting move. Very interesting move. Paige Nielsen doing a really nice job in the center back position. And now Yokoyama coming onto the pitch. They'll slide into that center back role. And we'll see Tiga McGrady make way. Cameron Bogalski coming on. Some backline changes for Richie Burke. As we'll take a look at Yokoyama, they'll slide into the midfield position, which is more traditional for them to play in that space. And the captain Andy Sullivan will play center back now, next to Staub. Bailey cleaning that up for Staub. I asked Richie Burke if he was concerned at all about his defensive depth with the likes of Sonnet and O'Hara and Rotter headed to Tokyo, and he said he was, and he said he had confidence in Bogalski, he had confidence in Sullivan, and now both of them will try and see off this 2-0 result. Another player for the Spirit, Tori Huster. She yeah. can slide into that back line any time of day. To have so much depth and versatility is so impressive. Ricara, look what she's given off the bench in a half of work. She'll play it right for Matthias. Lefty cross from Matthias. Headed on by Bogalski in her first impact of this one and Hatch. Back for this and we'll play Cameron Bogalski. Yokoyama. They will work up the left side. McKeown. Houston. Hatch. Tried the give and go there. 
Sanchez. Drawing the foul. And a yellow shown. Meredith Speck, excuse me, Debris going in the book. Ashley Sanchez causing some frustration for Debris. Sanchez is hard to mark and keep your footing in front of it. She's so quick and just dances over the ball. Debris just getting her arm out there, a tug of the jersey. Staub up to take it. At least a couple more seconds here in the 84th minute. Again, Washington has never shut out North Carolina in 12 meetings counting tonight. Have to wonder if maybe Sanchez didn't take that because she's already on a yellow. Don't want the time wasting yellow on top of that. Serve from Staub. Yokoyama, they miss wide. Great positioning for Yokiyama on that back post. They were just waiting for that cross to come in. As Yokiyama came onto the field, we saw them slide into that midfield position more so and dropping Andy Sullivan back into the back line. And now with that midfield three, it's Dorian Bailey who's going to sit lower in that sixth position so Yokiyama can be in a position like this. Goes right for Hatch. Bogalski for Bailey. Given away to McDonald. Sullivan with a vital tackle there. McDonald will pick up the charge, play it into space. Flag is up on Bazden. Idea was right, space was there, but it was there for a reason for Riley Bazden. Riley Bazden offside by. 10 yards on that play. Not a bad idea, though, to switch the ball for North Carolina and have the weak side midfielder coming out to make that run in between the Spirits' back line. Just too eager on the run from Basin. McCown. Yokoyama fighting for it. Bailey. For the captain, Sullivan. He's for Swish given away. Ratcliffe. Debris. Ricaro. Right, it comes from Matthias. Six McCown and Sanchez. Early chip looking for Speck. Picked off by Helferty. Nice pass from Sanchez. McCown. Sanchez putting in some great work on both sides of the ball. Her defensive pressure to get behind the ball for Washington Spirit has been tremendous. She's applying so much pressure to North Carolina's back line. Richie Burke said, oh, I think I'll play probably Sanchez 65-70. She's playing too well. He, he can't take her off right now. When Here a, she is again. When a player like that has found their rhythm and just in their groove, you want to keep them on the field. Spack looking for McDonald. Cut out nicely by Staub. McCown has Hatch making the run. McCown. Loses control, but draws the foul. That will be a yellow for O'Sullivan. Great run by Ashley Hatch to draw the defender out wide as McCowan takes that center space. O'Sullivan forced to come back and defend. Kelly Kurtz stepping in hard there to win the tackle, but O'Sullivan she gets the clip from behind on McCowan. And time will just tick away here for North Carolina, running out of time to make up a two-goal deficit on the road. S Sullivan, 
or Sanchez. Pick your poison here for North Carolina. And go Andy Sullivan. Touches it for Sanchez. Sanchez is strike. Ooh. What a save from Casey Murphy. Mercy. Richie Burke, I feel that reaction. Sanchez has been so good with her shots tonight. She gets the chance at the set piece, going for the upper 90. Casey Murphy, incredible save by her. Right fingertips just poking it over the crossbar. She's made some great saves, but that's the best. Look at the movement on that shot from Sanchez. Corner for Washington. for Staub. Ratcliffe can't get a firm touch on it. McCown goes down. No whistle with Speck wins the ball cleanly. But can't keep it in play. Spirit throw. Surprise, no whistle on that play. A little bit of gamesmanship from the Spirit to roll it back 30 yards. <laughs> It'll make help for T. Jog up to the proper spot to take this one. It's good for about 10 seconds. McCown to the corner. Foul against McCown. Kaylee Kurtz coming in to save the day for the courage on that play. One of the players that I'm sure will see more minutes for the courage in that back line after today when Ursic heads off to Tokyo. Four minutes of stoppage time, into it now. Washington. Looking for their first ever shutout over North Carolina. Just their second win over the Courage. To hop one point back of first place of North Carolina and Orlando. Just so much fluctuation in this table week to week. It's going to be so much fun the rest of the way to see how this shakes out. So many seasons it's been Seattle or North Carolina just running away. I don't think that's going to happen this year. It definitely won't already in these seven, eight, nine games from these teams that we've seen. It is anyone's season and anyone's chance. Foul drawn by Tori Huster. Tori Huster has got to have plenty of bumps and bruises for this one. Got hit by her own teammate, shot. Had to go to the sideline for that. Now shaking up again. Slow to get up is Tori Huster after this tough collision here. She goes up for the header. Just an elbow in the back from the Courage. Ricaro getting the call on that one. Free kick just conceded away. Early ball looking for McDonald for Ratcliffe. Touched back by Sullivan. Bledsoe just scooped that out of trouble. O'Sullivan. Chip now from Baisden. Andy Sullivan will clear it. North Carolina. We'll see a change in the NWSL debut of Karina Rodriguez, and what a shift Ashley Sanchez put in tonight. Incredible match by Sanchez, putting in miles on both sides of the ball. She played that withdrawn nine position so well, and a huge debut, debut for Rodriguez here. And this is the kind of situation you want to throw a player into as a coach. You've got a two goal lead, Get their feet wet a little bit. And in front of a home crowd. Right. Audi Field going loud for Rodriguez as she steps onto the turf. Yokoyama wins it. Houston now playing it forward. Out for a throw in. 
football barely made it in play <laughs> off the bounce. Mason draws the foul on Houston. North Carolina looking to push, trying to get something on the scoreboard. Everybody up. Matthias's serve. McDonald getting a piece of it, but not enough. Bledsoe will make the catch on the bounce. Really high line from the Washington Spirit. They've been doing that all night, not necessarily looking for the offside trap, but instead just keeping their heads on a swivel in the back line, and making it really difficult for McDonald to get in behind. O'Sullivan for Ratcliffe. But so we'll take a touch and pick it up. So goes deep. Based and drops it back. Early ball from Debris up the line. Sullivan plays it. Gets it back. Beats the player. And that will be the final touch of this one. So 